Hey. You loud fucker. Jesus. Let's crank his ass all the way down. Little bitch. <laughs> now recording. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit all right so here's the here's the deal here's the deal each uh each time we do a podcast here um obviously i want to try to do weekly but you know i've said that how many fucking times by this point <laughs> <laughs> yeah very much yeah you know um yeah i think uh before each podcast we're just gonna come up with like a theme of what the podcast is gonna be about and then just fucking riff for like 30 minutes or so you know mm. yes uh even if something doesn't have legs we gotta commit and we'll go um so i figured for this one since it's gonna be the first of the new format we could just uh we could just riff about ideas about what the podcast could be and then never do any of these ideas riff about ideas that's that's it <laughs> yeah it's pretty it's pretty open-ended i think we can kill like 30 minutes with that right so you're just saying the two of us uh uh, uh going yes and yeah is enough to kill off 30 minutes that's more or less yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think we can do it and if we don't we scrap it and try again with the third person <laughs> that, that, uh, that has never happened before we don't scrap things all the time never scrapped anything there's definitely not two episodes number nine that neither are going to be released <laughs> but whatever Oh, it could, and also our missing number two and missing number. Yes, uh, yeah. missing number two, the best uh, episode. Actually, it was a really good episode. It was the best one. We had the Wallaby Farmer, which he will be con- making a return. I think that'll be a good a good episode. Where only where the we, Wallaby Farmer here to help. I, I think we could do like an episode, maybe, um, um, where we. Uh, where you you're the wallaby farmer and you're looking for help and I can just be some guy trying to get a job, you know? That could be good. That could be good. Right now, young man, what can you do? Um <laughs> I can do I can, I can grow a, a Fu Manchu. That's what I I can do. I I I see. Yeah. So Have the, you thought about tying it. <laughs> tying it? No. I mean <laughs> immediately break the improv formula i mean i haven't thought of it but it could it could solve some issues you know i get a lot of bugs in there and stuff and maybe if it's yeah, you see, you'll see it hangs down too much so it's gonna get in the way so if you tie it up What's it's the, gonna be less in the way what is it gonna get in the way of the wallabies i think they can walk around me i think my body no, no, is more no. a problem there than my my fu manchu would be the Australian jumping frog is a, <laughs> is attracted to hanging hanging like things like like vines and things like that. Well, what if that's what I wanted though? What if I wanted Australian uh, jumping frog? I think you said. And what if I wanted one of those? That it's like a fishing lure, trying to catch like the, me. The problem with that is like, like everything in Australia, it's incredibly poisonous. Ah, oh, poisonous or venomous. Well, I this, guess poisonous because you would touch it and die, right? Like immediately upon uh, touching you it. You see, yes, it's a poisonous in that way. Venomous if it bit you. So okay. basically, don't let it bite you or near you, or really just don't let it. Isn't it both then? Yes. It's both poison. Yeah, I mean, it's an Australian creature. It's yes. got to be both. Yes. They can't just be one. No, that'd be too normal for Australia. Way too normal. Way too normal. <laughs> but. Yeah, a- actual normality in Australia. That would be a poison. It's a little known fact about Australians. They're all poisonous and venomous as well. I mean, have you ever shook hands with an Australian? No, because you'd be dead. No, I got stabbed once by an Australian, but the, the knife wasn't po- wasn't poisonous or venomous, so I was yeah, fine. F- that's that's a funny thing about Australia. Let me <laughs> let me tell you the the real funny thing about Australia is that their knives are actually more dangerous or less dangerous than the people. Isn't that crazy? Well, I heard over there that that's actually a, a form of greeting. Oh, the knife stab. Yeah, ah, yeah, that, yeah, that like, explains. You know, it's kind of a hey, how you doing? Stab, stab, stab. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, how you doing? Cunt, stab, stab, stab. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's like yeah. 1980s New York City. 
<laughs> I mean, it's like still New York City today, but yeah. Well, that's if you go outside Times Square. Now, if you're in Times you know, time Square, oh. the most dangerous thing you can run into is really bad mascots. Oh. Wait, so aren't you a wallaby farmer? How do you know so much about New York? My man, I have been everywhere. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. It's the wallaby life. I understand. It's incredibly nomadic, yes. Yeah, man. I mean, where else are you going to get your, your wallabies than a sewer in New York? That was only one time, and it was really scary. <laughs> oh, okay. The, the, I'm kind of curious about this story and what what happened. <sighs> was so scary about it. You have to understand, I'm terrified of crabs. Oh, that rightfully so. Those those are some dangerous bastards there. So someone had hung up pictures of crabs all around this uh, this, this sewer grate, and it was terrifying. Wait, I, so it's just picture you're that scared yes that pictures got to okay yes you could get a okay. paper cut from them it's terrible oh that's a good point all right more dangerous crabs or pictures of crabs what do you think i'm leaning towards pictures personally <clears throat> but you know you seem like the expert you've been around the block a couple times it's a tough decision it's going to depend on what kind of uh oven mitts you have what kind of oven mitts? Okay, I didn't know that would come into play, but that does that does make a lot of sense. Uh, let's say for uh, the sake of this, uh, they're silicone, silicone oven, mm -hmm. nice red ones. Well, see, silicone will be pretty good at blocking the paper cuts, but yeah. they're definitely crushable. Mm, that's a good point. And you get that claw strength, you know, it's yeah. going to go right yeah. through that silicone. And, and then you're just stuck with a fractured pinky and then nobody wants that. No, that's true. I'd, I'd rather a fractured ring finger than a pinky. I, I use my pinky a lot, you know, pick up my cup and just point it out. If it's fractured, I don't know if I can do all that. Yeah, I knew a man who fractured his pinky once, and his life was never the same. Oh, damn. Rest in peace, sir. <laughs> Rest in peace. Let's let's take a moment of silence for, for the man who's passed on with the, the destroyed pinky. All right, that's long enough. Um <laughs> There so, well, yeah, the pretty, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty good. Is that a warm up or is that the podcast? I'm not even a clue, man. That's going to be yeah. on you. It's, it's not, not bad to go through some of that stuff. <laughs> yeah. The, I mean, it's very important, important, uh, <laughs> exercise to warm up the brain, the mouth, the, the tip of the tongue, you know? Well, especially if I'm doing voices, a lot of it, it does. I, I got to require just... I have to do a whole facial thing just to get certain, you know, voices in. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And yeah. I, if I, I mean, the episode's lost, but if I remember correctly, Wally had a very different voice. So one would have to assume that this is an entirely different character. Hey, it's possible. I, I'm pr I'm kind of <sighs> dropping him a little bit because normally he's Wally the Wally Farmer here. Ready yeah. to take you on to the next, uh, next uh, adventure. See, that's that's what I remember him having a lot more of a uh, yeah. uh, a southern draw in there, you know, a well, little bit higher pitch too. Yeah. Well, I was kind of keeping him low just as a warm up thing, and, you know. Can yeah. I can respond it a little bit easier. I don't have to put quite so much in, in this case. Again, that's well, it's it's just just Wally, Wally talking like this. I mean, you could you could say it's his brother, like John or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's always possible. Yeah, but, yeah. but uh, Wally is a mixture of uh, this is Casey Kasem and the Weekend Top Forty. <laughs> yeah, I got got that from a lot of the cadence there. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, with my uh, my HR manager, her her husband is a John Denver tribute singer. <laughs> um, like he wow. was doing this even before Country Roads got big, and that, you know. Um, got big. Oh, is that who does that song? See, I knew that. Yeah, you, just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you this, knew that. Right? For the for the audience, I was just pretending to be. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he does a he does a he does a thing where he'll make fun of he'll do it like a John Denver because he does the song out uh, Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Wow, this <laughs> this guy he really just sings about mountains, huh? Yeah, well, that's what he crashed into, so it works. <laughs> oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that so, lines up pretty well, yeah. So I kind of take a mixture of that and get, kind of speak out the side of my mouth and go, 
This is Wally the Wallaby Farmer here, telling you all about, uh, today we're talking about taxes. <laughs> That's that's my favorite thing about Wally is he's a very he, he has a vast knowledge of things and you know it's not limited to his wallaby farming you yeah know? which what even would that be what is farming wallabies like uh, creating that, that is a hell of a question or? well yeah. see I've already I've always conceptualized him as more of um what's the word uh he's supposed to be a children's television host. Mm, okay, but okay. like, like on the downside of his career, and at this point, he doesn't give a fuck. But, oh, okay. But he's also like experienced everything there is that humanly to experience at this point. I see. So, I like, see. I'll I'll go on rants about like uh, like some incredibly adult topics, you know, sexual topics, uh, drug use, stuff like that. No, that's good. And, I and mean, the that's the good stuff. You yeah, better talk about that. Well, and it's great because I can do that and. With this viewpoint of, oh, I'm teaching these kids about what this is like. And, you know. So I, you're not concerned at all about teaching kids about sexual things? That's Just... half, half, that's half the, half the joke. Oh, oh, that's, that's part of the joke. Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. The other half is, uh, is, is also saying information that is incredibly. <sighs> I've had a couple of people call it woke. They call it oh, uh, woke no. Wally. I'm woke like, Wally. <laughs> Because he's, uh, little he, did they know he's the most bigoted <laughs> man I ever knew. <laughs> well, you know, it, it is meant to be very, you know, okay. Let me talk to you about threesomes. Now, you have to understand, it doesn't matter what combination you have. You know, as that's, long as everyone's happy, that's cool. That's, that's very, that's honestly, that's that's good stuff. I can see the wokeness, but that's also a shit word. Let's <laughs> let's let's discuss a little more about the the different types <laughs> of threesomes that are possible. There's of course the the there's one one girl, two guys. That's a classic. The the devil's yep. three way, I believe they call it. Yep. Yeah, there's that one. Uh, what you can name it any if you'd like. Well, go, go you, you understand. There's the um, there's the male dream, the two women and one man. Mm, yes, yes, of course. Then, every every man's dream is the two women, one man. No, you have to understand. Wally will tell you that no matter what, a threesome is about politics. Mm. Now, now not, not not politics as in you know um, the Democrats versus the Republicans. Oh, yeah. no, or, none of that Yankee we, we, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. We're not talking, um, for lack of better words, actually the 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 capital P politics. We're talking about politics as in. Interpersonal relationships. If, oh, okay. When you're dealing with um, more than one partner at a time, you actually have to kind of negotiate how the acts are happening. Yeah, you want everyone to feel included. You, you, know, you want everyone down. to feel included. You want everyone to feel, you know, feel satisfied. And that's yeah. that's not always an easy thing. And, it, you know, depending on depending on the threesome, you know. Actually sitting down and talking about these sort of things is not always um, as sexy as you'd think. Yeah, it kind of kills the mood for sure, for sure. Now, now I do want to, I do want to elaborate a little bit on something you said there. I see. Um, you you said something about uh, being satisfied. Now, when you say that, did you mean everybody comes? No, that's going to be very dependent on the individual. You have okay. to understand as we we talk about it. Um. This is uh, much more complex than of I had course, of course. anticipated. Okay, gotcha. Uh, individuals with weak female bodies. Now, that's the other thing to remember, that just because you are, you, you have a female, uh, feminine body does not necessarily mean that you are, in fact, a woman. Oh, man, we're getting in the weeds here. Well, Let's it's, go. it's important to understand. So the distinctions are good to understand. It's remembering mm -hmm. that not all women, uh, people with fe female bodies actually come from penetration. And that, ah, yeah, okay. so understand that uh, there was a study I read once that said that uh, something like one third of women do. And that. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes. See, and that, that's even more than I would have thought, because I'd say uh, zero thirds have from me. So, you know, well, that, that that means that means you need to start working on some other elements that uh, go into that. Now, yeah, lot, the, well, the the lips, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, you know, yeah. Exactly. It's it's the key thing is understanding that you kind of are experimenting with mm. with someone's body and not everyone has the same erogenous zones. And they mm -hmm. don't they don't react the same way to every single stimuli. You know? Right. Exactly. Right, right. 
That so, makes a lot of sense. And that's another element of the politicking. You're trying to figure out what is going to make someone happy. Now, not everyone even needs to come to feel to feel satisfied. You okay. know, that's okay. you know, some people need it multiple times because that's that's a thing that happens with female bodies is they can come a lot more often. Oh, that's they, that's not fucking fair. What the fuck? Well, there's there's lots of elements to it because. In reality, all an orgasm is, is a muscle spasm of sorts that releases oh. endorphins. I was going to say, I had a, a spasm in my arm the other day and threw a glass of milk at a wall. And that, that didn't feel like an uh, orgasm. Well, maybe, but if that's an orgasm, that's an orgasm. I mean, I mean it, there's it, white it, stuff flying, so I guess that tracks. <laughs> oh, you see, now you have to clean it up. And granted, I think milk's going to be a little easier to clean up than the other white stuff you would spill naturally. <laughs> but... Oh, yes. Yeah. That's not, to say, that's not to say otherwise. Now, yes, yes. Uh, it's remembering that in, in many actualities, it's just a series of muscles spasming. Now, you could, your, your brain is hardwired to enjoy certain muscle spasms because, you know, the act of procreation is supposed to be an enjoyable act. Yes, yes. And, and this is what you're teaching children. I mean, if they, uh, it's necessary for them to learn this stuff. Okay, and how how young are you teaching? I have no idea. I I just say it, and whoever turns in, <laughs> you're not checking IDs. Got it. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. I did I did want to go back and just uh, just uh, revisit a, a little a little thing earlier. You know, uh, it's not often talked about the other two forms of threesomes. You don't hear them too much. I mean, maybe one of them, but well, maybe both of them if you're on the internet like I am. You know what I mean? Doing a little <laughs> research. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, yes, yeah, and it's uh, there's also the all male body, all male. All, yep, all male. That is quite a lot of fun too. Lots um, of dicks. You know, sausages. I mean, yeah, you know, pleasure come from can come from multiple things. Was that was that what that movie um, was about? What was that was that Seth Rogen guy or so? Uh, sausage Rogen? Party. What? Yeah, yeah. Was that what that movie was about? Not and not for the first ninety five percent of the movie. The last five mm. percent is very much, in fact, an orgy of of. Uh, so you're dealing with more of a dodecahedron there, as oh. opposed to a threesome. Oh wow! Oh wow! That's, that's uh, some plus, very advanced maneuvers. I'm not sure if I'm ready for all of that. Well, yes, it, it it that's the thing. It's always ultimately always comes down to politicking. You know, what is going to make an enjoyable experience for you and for others? Mm -hmm. How do you add to the experience for others without subtracting? Hmm, okay, so adding without subtracting, which little known fact is a hard thing to do. Oh, yes. Especially these days with the economy. <laughs> uh. I, I worry for your soul, young man. <laughs> oh, me as well. That's fine. Anyway, so then, of course, so there's the, the tri-mail, the tri-mail, right? Yeah, that's, that's, all, that's always an option, and that that, that can be, uh, once again, you know, it's, it's all about negotiation, so wow. You know who, the politics. Yeah, exactly. The politics <laughs> got yeah. dick on the brain for some reason. Well, I understand. I understand. It can be. It can be very addictive. You understand? Oh, absolutely. Now, absolutely. Of course. Of course. Now, of course. I, you know me. I just. I can't keep my hands off my own dick, no matter where I go. My hands are just constantly jammed down my pants. You know. I understand. I understand. Now, the problem is, is, you have to. If you're going to be doing that, you have to understand that um, there's a time and a place for everything. You know. Uh oh. What? Uh, yeah, is, is that true? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You can't just because if you're if you're down there pleasuring yourself and, uh, and whoa, 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 take a step back. I never said anything about pleasuring myself. I just said I'm grabbing hold, just grabbing it and squeezing it as hard as I can. Now, you know, yeah, well, that's perfectly fine if that is it is something for you. Now you have to understand if you're taking away from others while you're doing that. If you're doing this mm. out in public, other people aren't necessarily going to want to see that. Okay, so should should I start reaching down other people's pants and squeezing uh, no. their dick? Now, or? that's that's a time when you do ask for permission. You know, that oh. Okay, so squeezing my own dick, I don't ask for permission. But if I want to squeeze another person's yes. dick, I have to ask. Well, you understand you already have your own permission. Oh, I see. I yes, see. Yes. Self consent. Okay. Yep. Self consent is a thing. Self consent is a thing. Now, don't let the, the now. There is some degree of uh, the religious folks out there that like to say, you know, oh well, God didn't consent. Well, unfortunately, God is not does not have a very active, you know, consideration. <laughs> he he does not have a feedback uh, box, if you if you will. <laughs> 
I, uh, um, uh, I beg to differ every Sunday when I go to church and pray after smoking my marijuana. Uh, I would consider that a feedback box, okay? Now, now, let, now let I understand uh, that you're, if you're smoking the marijuana, what you're getting is a very light hallucination. Very oh. light. Because THC does not exactly give you a t- – it's not a very strong – thing in terms of hallucinatory you know that depends on every individual i've met some people who've who've taken it very hard but you know very rarely does thc give you a very strong hallucinatory gotcha color. but you know so, yeah huh so are you saying i'm hallucinating the church or well, the feedback box it sounds very likely the feedback box because as okay. i said it tends it tends to be very light touch Mm, that makes sense like a, a whole church would be like that would be too much yeah that would but be too a much little box now that seems, now if you, okay. get, you dip, your, dip yourself into some of the heavier stuff um uh, to make something of that degree generally you have to have serious mind alteration that'd be into the lsd elements ah okay so i can't just you know go go fuck off to disneyland for a week smoke a bunch of weed and drink a bunch of alcohol and start seeing god i have to do something like a, yeah. a, a, a lsd lsp what LSD. Is it? Uh, yes okay. I, i'm not sure the okay. exact uh it is lsd is colloquially known as acid it is in mm-hmm. fact the um i oh, believe like it is it's like from alien like the stuff that burns through the whole of the ship. Ah, uh, no. See, it's a colloquialism. It's a it's a slang term. It's not actually acidic, if I believe. Uh, I'm not. See, I'm, I don't. I don't believe in the colonists. They never existed. So, oh I, yeah. I don't know if I can. I can use that uh, term. Then I think I'll just stick to LST. All right. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. But um, yeah. No. The the, the, the aliens. Uh, they spit acid. That what it is is more of an acidic. Uh, for lack of a better word, like a <laughs> goo, like a gunk or a mucus. <laughs> Acid is acidic. Uh, that you know. Yeah. Like, I never really thought of it that way, but I think you've really you've really changed and uh, opened my mind here. So yeah, thank yeah. you. Yep. Yeah. yeah. See, that's that's the hard part. Is um, the way humanity uses language these days, it's it. it we could say it's lazy, but it's more. There's a degree of being what what is understood, what is uh, what is generalized, and you know everybody everybody says it. Like when I say, "Oh, I literally slept 14 hours last night." No, oh, and they only slept for like eight, like yeah. a normal person yeah. should. Yes, yes, yes. So, so you could say that and literally mean figuratively. Well, the word "literally" is supposed to mean "liter," as in exact. This is exactly what happened. Like. But, pretty much the opposite of figuratively but exactly yeah, it, isn't that like actually in like the dictionary of some sort now too is well, that literally means figuratively exactly that's the thing remembering that's dictionaries stupid. dictionaries <laughs> uh the, the thing to remember about dictionaries is they're not they're not rules they they don't mm. define. I know it sounds weird the dictionary is not defined the dictionary does not define what the fuck's the point then the dictionary is a catalog. It is a historical record. It's saying this is how we currently use those words. It is not telling you that you have to use them that way, but it's saying this is the way most people currently agree that these words are used. Okay, so it's books for nerds to be nice. Well, to some okay. extent, all books are for nerds, but... You know. Whoa, 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 whoa! I I don't know about that. You ever read the Kama Sutra? I don't think nerds are doing anything. Uh, now. That, let me tell you. I don't know. I'm telling you, the kinkiest people out there are nerds. Let's mm, you know, or at least that, or at least what we de- what we decide is what the, how you define a nerd. That you know that that may be true. I couldn't tell you that. Yeah. I'm not a fucking nerd. I'll say uh, you're what it is. You've just yet yet to find your current obsession. That's mm-hmm. all a nerd is. A nerd mm-hmm. is just a man, a man or woman or any gender. That's no, I obsessed. mean, I, I have my obsession. It's 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 a, it's an all right perfume. I think it's more for girls, but you know, yeah, I'll see, I think it smells pretty good. So that's what what you're telling me is you're a perfume nerd. No, 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 no. I have a I have a a, a perfume, and it's it's obsession. Yes, and that makes you a nerd for that perfume. Wait, because you're you have obsession with obsession. Well, I wouldn't say I'm obsessed with obsession, but I, I see. certainly do enjoy it. Mm. 
So you're a light nerd then. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay to okay. be nerd. I'll take it. Nerd, nerd light. That <laughs> seems that seems very kind. It's enough like nerdiness to be accepted in nerd culture, but also enough not nerdiness to be accepted outside of it. It's the best of both worlds, you know, like um, the our friend Miley Cyrus, of course. Well, there's a lot that we can say about Miss Cyrus. She's a unique young woman. Oh, there's a lot we can say about her. All right. Oh, don't even don't even get me started on Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Which brings us to our our final uh, uh, form of threesome. I don't I don't believe we discussed yet. I'll see the, the now. It's understanding that this is all from a very cisgendered approach, and remembering that any any combinations go from there. But you also have the all female uh, threesome. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was wondering what you meant by cisgendered, but then when you oh. said all female, it's like, oh yeah, sisters are are female. So okay, no. that tracks. No, I no, 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 no. Cisgendered means that someone is of is of uh, representing themselves and living as the gender that in which they were born and assigned. Okay. So if you were if you were born a male, and uh -huh. then you are and you're still representing yourself as male, that means you are cisgendered male. Oh, but you're male and sisters are female. Ah, uh, see, you're, you're misspelling it. It's C I S, not S I S. Yeah, that's that's how you spell sister, right? C I S T O R. No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah, no, you got to go back to the dictionary. Uh, that's not how we. No, <laughs> not no, how we spell no. it. <laughs> I'm nerd light. I don't. I don't deal with the book side of it. That just means you. That things. means you get a small dictionary. <laughs> Oh, I got. Oh, uh, I. Uh, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, so three, three females. Now yes. that <laughs> that sounds like my kind of night. Oh, see, like, the problem is, is that you're not included. Yes. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, I can watch. It's okay. Yes. So that's that's once then that now that becomes a degree of not quite a threesome so much as a foursome, where one is more observing. As I said, it's all depending on what what the politic of everyone involved is and what adds to the adds to the uh, satisfaction and the fun without subtracting. I got you. So okay. So. Let's say, uh, okay, is there like a dividing line at, what, uh, at some point where the watcher is no longer a part of the act and thus it stays a threesome? Like, say, if I'm outside a window, uh, uh, this this fourth person is outside the window, um, or, you know, maybe through like CCTV or well, something. The important part is always consent. As we said, mm. the most important part, as long as as long as they all the individuals involved consent to observance in whatever form. Now, okay, there, well, there's a degree of, you know, it's the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle will apply here that your observation will, in fact, uh, you know, change the outcome of the threesome. What does what does blue meth have to do with this? I don't really. Understand uh, now that. you're now you're conflating it with pop culture. Um. Yes. No, I don't really like pops that much. No, no, no. Really in the culture of it, um, but I'm still not sure what this has to do with meth. What is? Ah, uh, see, see, you're you're conflating the movie, the show Breaking Bad as the character mm -hmm. of Heisenberg. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 He's that, actually he actually borrowed his name from a famous scientist. Oh. Yes. Oh, so is he going to give it back now that the show's over? No, he's dead. Now they're both dead, so it does not matter. Oh. So who's Heisenberg now? Oh, I don't know. We're going to have to find out when the next season comes on. Oh, shit. All right. All right. We'll, we'll have to circle back to that in the yes. future. But nonetheless, it's just it's about the permission. As long as you have permission and as long as the individual is old enough for the permission, you're good. OK, so consent and age. Those are the two important factors. Absolutely. You need that. Okay. Everything okay. else. Everything else is not your is not a uh, not an issue. Oh, okay. Um, all right. So where where do the sisters come into this? And I'm still <laughs> I'm still unsure about the the meth part. Um, well, as I said, there's no meth involved in this unless there is none. unless there is. Unless, so there's no meth unless there's meth. Okay, you that, understand that's not the um. It's not part of the necessarily all the time. 
Mm, okay. okay. No, but no. sometimes it is. Yes. Well, it depends on the individuals. That's there. Is it, yes. Is it an enhancement? I guess it depends on everyone's reaction to the meth. That's the one the one drug I have much less understanding of. Now, I do know that it is more of a, um, a stimulant of sorts. It gets your brain moving a little bit faster. See, that makes a lot of sense to me because I had a meth class once and it was really hard work. So my brain really had to like like focus up you know the no. numbers and symbols no that's around. that's math that's oh. not meth that's math are you sure yes yes oh oh yes okay <laughs> okay that that kind of makes a little more sense because i was watching breaking bad and i'm like waiting for the numbers to come in and you know there's oh. a lot of money i guess you could count those but other yeah. than that there i didn't see a whole lot of what i thought was meth but okay that makes a lot more sense then well, see, you're just very confused all the time. We're going to have to really sit down and draw you at a flow chart, huh? Um, like an aunt flow chart or? Yes. Because I don't, I don't really bleed like that. Oh, don't, uh, don't worry. To... If you go to Australia, they'll, they'll help you with that. Oh, right. The Australian hello. Yes. yes. Okay. Very yes. Enough. Fair enough. Very much. Oh. <laughs> well. I gotta say, Wally, I feel like I've learned a lot today. We've had a few laughs. Um, you know, we've really, really grown as people, I'd like to think. Well, I have at least. I don't know. You, you kind of still seem just like a woke fuck, so. I'm just learning what I can every day. No. Yeah. Well, um, well, you taught me a lot. Let's see if I can teach you something. Oh, boy. I'm looking forward to it already. All right. Well, we'll, we'll definitely have to figure that out um on later days <laughs> but i think i've taken up enough of your time for today wally thank you so much for coming on and, and teaching me about the the devil's threesomes well i guess i knew that one already but uh, about sister genders i i think i think uh i think this was very successful we're working on you we're gonna learn you more one, one day at a time right <laughs> one day at a time <laughs> uh all right well, that that's that's a good place to stop right there. <laughs>